official federal. It was a ceremony nearly 17 years in the making. It takes time to get things like this done. The $54 million project opens an eight-mile southern bypass of Boonville. It is also expected to ease congestion in the city and make for safer driving. What we have here is, uh, you know, these large trucks, instead of moving through the city of Boonville, uh, they have an opportunity and, a, and a, an option to, uh, to move around the city, uh, taking some of that heavy truck traffic off of neighborhood streets and, uh, you know, more uh, congested retail areas. First District Congressman Alan Nunley says the project shows what can happen when all levels of government work together. Well, there is an old Hank Williams Jr. song that says the city is against the county, the county is against the state, the state's against the federal government, and the highway still ain't paved. Well, in North Mississippi, we have cooperation that exists between the various levels of government because we got a commitment for infrastructure and for jobs. And jobs are on the minds of local officials in the wake of last week's announcement that state lawmakers approved $175 million in bonds to attract two manufacturers to Mississippi. One of those companies, HCL Cleantech, could locate a plant near Boonville. A large project which will benefit the state as a whole tremendously. Hayes has already let HCL executives know of the region's two industrial parks. Economic development leaders say the area is ready for new industry. We've got, in addition to the good highways, we've got good infrastructure. We've got good natural gas, good water, sewer available to uh, anything that might be in the area. Mayor Eaton points out groundbreaking for any new plant is two to three years down the road. But that announcement, coupled with the opening of the Highway 30 bypass, is generating optimism among local officials who say any positive economic news is long overdue. In Boonville, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.